Back on October 25th, girls volleyball hosted Boston Land for a non-conference matchup where they took them down in three sets. On Tuesday, November 9th, we would see this matchup again, but this time for a second round of the MIAA State Tournament. The Wolfpack wasn't only looking to avenge that loss, but also Needham kicked them out of the playoffs in 2019. So, would history repeat itself? Let's head to the A-Gym to find out. First point of the game, Ashley Rays with a one-handed dig to Caitlin Long. She sets up Samantha Tam, who starts us off with a strong kill. Rockets up by two. Boston Land goes over to their outside, but she's met at the net by Evie Lockwood Mullaney and Antonia Tome to combine for the block. 16 to 15 Rockets raise again with a great dig. This time it's set up for Ellie Streeper and she gets one to go. Rockets pull away a bit up 23 to 19. Wong back sets for Tomes on the right side, drills it down the line, so Needham would take the first set 25 to 19. Boston Land would come out strong in the second thanks to their outside Holly Sullivan. Her hit rolls off the net right here for the point. Wolfpack up 4, 12 to 8. They go back to Sullivan in the same spot, and she would get the same result to put BL up by 5. Okay, now get ready to hear this name over and over again. Sophomore Izzy Streeper steps up to serve where she would get comfortable, launches the first one to the back line for the ace. She would do it again, drills it to the back to put Needham within 1. Another strong serve, but this time the serve receive is too high, which allows Lockwood Mullaney to smack it right back down. And if you thought Izzy was done, you're wrong. Launches another one that can't be controlled to put the Rockets back up by two. But Boss Land not going anywhere as we're tied at 18. They give it back to Sullivan, and she gets another one right here to drop down. Don't worry, because guess who's back behind the line? Izzy Streeper does it again, puts Needham back up by two. Set point for the Rockets, Wolfpack sets up their middle, but it's tipped by Lockwood Mullaney and it falls down for the point and the set. Needham takes the second, 25 to 23, and they have a two set lead. Heading into the third, Rockets up 13, 13 to nine, and this next sequence is amazing. Ray's dives to save the tip, Tam falling over her, punches it up, and then Emma Fallon gets it to go over the net. Boston Land's hit would soar out of bounds, so the defensive effort pays off. 19 to 16 Nina man Miss Powerhouse Izzy Streeper is back again where she would pick up right where she left off, starts off with an ace, gets another one here to drop down, and then of course she would get another one to give Needham game point. Next play, they set up Ellie Streeper this time on the outside and her hit falls down and that would do it. Needham takes the third set 25 to 17 and the win over Boston Lion in three sets. Izzy Streeper coming up huge in this one to help advance the Rockets to the round of eight where they will travel to conquer Carlisle to avenge their only loss in three years on Saturday, November 13th at 1 p.m. Boys soccer took care of business against Attleboro in the first round of the postseason. On Wednesday, November 10th, they would host a tough conquer Carlisle team in the second round. The 18th seeded Patriots upset a strong Catholic Conference opponent, BC High, and they were looking to do the same thing to the two seeded Rockets. This one was a classic, going all the way down to the final seconds and then some. So, with that being said, let's get to the highlights. Conquer Carlisle would come out strong, Barry at Wolfie taking it down the sideline, get past two Needham defenders and crosses it. Daniel Jaffe is there to knock it in, and the Patriots are on the board first. Under 15 minutes to go, Rockets with a corner opportunity. The ball is far and high, just enough for Ethan McCarron to get up for the header. Sneaks past the goalie, so we're tied up at one. Stoppage time of the first, Marco Flano with an opportunity, but the CC goalie, Ben Wasserman, comes out of his net for an amazing save. Keeps this game tied at one, heading to halftime. About nine minutes gone in the second, Flano gets a step by the defender, takes a shot, but again, Wasserman is there to deny it. Mitchell Wilson this time looking for something, he turns the corner, launches a shot, but Washington gets up high this time for the save and he's having an outstanding performance in net. Wolfie now on the tack for CC, the shot is saved by Ben Wiltland, but the Patriots stay with it as it finds the foot of Jaffe who punches it in, so conquer Carlisle up 2-1. to one. As we're now in stoppage time, Lloyd Akai Dennis on the far side is taken down, so the Rockets will have a free kick opportunity. 
It's a great ball in. It's headed out, but Marco Flano was there waiting for it at the top. Drills one through everybody for the goal with little time left. Flano with the goal of the season to push this game into overtime. As we approach the end of overtime, Marcus Trabuco takes a long shot as it just soars over the far top corner. Conquer Carlisle would then get a corner opportunity. The ball floats around until it finds Lars Bojack on top. It would just go wide, so we remain tied as we head into double overtime. And this would be the only shot attempted. The header by Daniel Jordan goes wide. No one comes out on top in double OT, so that means this game will be decided on penalty kicks. First up for Conquer Carlisle is Jaffe, who's had both goals for his team. He would drill this one in the top corner past Whitland. Senior captain Matt Turner steps up for Needham, goes low and connects to keep it tied up. Deco Cypher up next for CC, shot is good in the high corner. Lloyd Akai Dennis steps up, tries a low corner, but big save by Washerman, so Conquer Carlisle has a 2-1 advantage. Liam Harrington looking to make it 3-1, and he does. So pressure is on for Peter Spielman, a senior captain, but he delivers, tricks out the goalie to make it 3-2. Wolfie up next for the Patriots, and he would drill it down low, so the Rockets now cannot miss or the game would be over. And it's Ben Whitland who will take it, goalie against goalie, and Wasserman would come out on top, makes the save right here, so it is all over. Conquer Carlisle prevails to beat Needham 3-2 and move on to the final eight. The Rockets' incredible undefeated season ends in a heartbreaker where they finished at 15-1-4.